Hey, Todd Usher with Addison Homes, and today we're gonna to talk about venting dryers. When we vent our clothes dryers, we wanna make sure that we are giving the dryer the path of least resistance for exhausting all of the airflow that goes out of the dryer with warm or hot, humid air. So essentially when we dry our clothes, the clothes dryer heats the clothes up, making the water or moisture evaporate from the clothes. And then it also has a fan that blows air across the clothes as it heats them up. And that takes that moisture away and outside the house. One of the most impactful things we can do is make sure that the ductwork that we connect our dryer vent to has path of least resistance, so the shortest run, and doesn't have any turns or kinks or hard, sharp elbows that would potentially collect lint and create resistance to airflow. I'm in a production builder home here in upstate South Carolina. I like to walk through these, as you know, and see what's going on, what the code minimum standard is. And behind me, you can see a dryer duct that number one is run just down through the wall. So no specific connection yet attached to the end of this uh, dryer duct. I would hope that they're gonna have a dryer cavity that allows the homeowner to make a nice gentle sweep connection of the dryer to the vent. But the other thing that I've noticed here in this house is they've got a hard turn 90, a bend in the pipe that's a sharp 90 degrees. And not only is that a potential place for lint to collect, but it's also a place that results in great friction resistance to flow. So as the air has to take that hard turn on the 90 degree bend, it has great resistance to airflow. So it makes it harder for our dryer to actually push the air out of the building. Instead of using a hard bend 90, we wanna use either 45 degree connections, maybe a couple of them to make up that 90 degree turn we need to make, or even better, a wide sweep smooth 90 that doesn't have the penalties of restriction to airflow like a hard 90 does. And in this particular case, that 90 degree elbow, while it probably won't be much of an issue for this customer because it doesn't run a long distance after the elbow, it's gonna be a place for lint to collect. Yeah.